What is a wide-body aircraft? A wide-body aircraft is a passenger airplane, a jetliner, whose fuselage is wide enough to accommodate two passenger aisles. In other words, a wide-body aircraft is a twin-aisle airplane. A wide-body aircraft has at least seven seats across. It contrasts with a narrow-body aircraft, which only has one aisle. With single-aisle airplanes, the cabin is divided into a small first-class compartment with four seats across, plus a large economy-class cabin with six seats across. They have just one aisle. For aircraft that can carry more passengers, the fuselage of the narrow-body type would be too long for practical purposes. There are several more disadvantages to having a very long, single-aisle, narrow-body airplane. With an extremely long aisle, it would take too long for all the passengers to board and disembark. Additionally, the cabin attendants would have difficulties in serving meals and drinks. For large capacity jetliners, having two aisles means passengers can board and disembark safely and rapidly, while cabin crew members can serve food and drinks more easily. The wide-body aircraft design also offers passengers slightly wider seats and a feeling of being in a more spacious cabin. In a wide-body aircraft, the landing gear is not long and heavy. The interior of an aircraft is called the cabin. Ever since the first passenger planes, the cabin has been undergoing a continuous evolution. There are between one and four classes of travel currently available on wide-body aircraft. The bar and lounge areas of wide-body aircraft have almost completely disappeared. A few airlines have reintroduced a bar and lounge area in their first class or business class, especially those using wide-body aircraft such as the Airbus A380 and the Boeing 777. First class passengers on the Emirates A380 can have a shower during the flight. It operates for a maximum of five continuous minutes. What will wide-body aircraft look like in 20 or 50 years time? Airbus and Boeing are currently spending considerable sums on research and development. Will the airplanes of tomorrow be bigger, smaller, longer, shorter, wider, or narrower than they are today? Perhaps, by the middle of this century, all airplanes will be electric. Thank you for watching this Markets Business News video on wide-body aircraft.